Ahoy, all of you flick freaks out there. What is going on? My name is Andrew, and we are here continuing on with the Let's Play series EA Sports UFC. This fight right here, ladies and gentlemen, coming up is a shot at the title. Not sure who right now in the game it is the uh, UFC, uh, my weight class. Hi, man. It's George St. Pierre. Hey, uh, congratulations for your fight. One of the best I've seen. You're the best, my friend. Thank you. Thank you. All right, who are we fighting? Oh, so we are fighting George St. Pierre. Okay. Ah, shit, 99 overall. Son of a dick. We are going to have to train our ass off in order to win here. Actually, let's go to like our... We have a sponsor banner? Yeah, okay. I'm just throwing shit up. I gotta have Alienware. Even though I don't have an Alienware, uh... Taps. Uh, this has a Florida Lee on it, so... Damn. Here we go. Because we're doing the whole walk in and everything here, so. We need, like. Is there anything juicy or anything? <laughs> Entrance music, huh? Okay. Uh, I'm just going to pick this. Oh, wait, no, we're not. We're going with this one, because I love that song, even though I don't know the DMX version. And, uh... Alright, now you're gonna give me a flat top brim hat? Is that what my option is gonna be? Yep. Alright. God, that looks so shitty. No, get rid of that. Okay. Let's go fight, guys. A teacher is never a giver of truth. He is a guide, a pointer to the truth that each student must find for himself. Bruce Lee. Living the dream is simply a form of living out your passion or of making that passion gradually through the persistence and effort a central part of your life, your eye of favor. 
Oh, did I back out to the menu? I didn't mean to do that. Oh, okay. Let's advance to the training. Work on that wrestling. Transitions and striking on the ground. Stay focused here. Let's go. Excellent movement. That's the easiest shit. We gotta do better in there. Come on now. Let's pick up the pace. Nice work right there. All right now. Come on now. Focus. 30 seconds to work. Job in there. We got ten seconds. Keep going. That's it. High pace, high pressure, high intensity. Come on. Good work in there. Very clean technique. That's what we need to do to be successful in the octagon. Let's work on that kick. Right. I want to pick it up a little and work on advanced kicks. Are you ready? Let's go. Keep chipping away. Shit. You can do better than that. Come on now. Come on. Good work in there. Seconds. I want to see more out of you. Master, please. That's right. That's the output I want to see. Excellent work in there. You really pick up techniques. Now is the time to act. Let's see it. Seconds. I want to see a lot more training sessions just like that. That's good enough. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a title fight. Dana's probably going to come on and say, title fight. The main event. Oh my God. Namcio has a brother. We are going to watch this entire thing, so. You're at the top of the food chain. We're going to send over the details. You get the next title fight. Congratulations. Woo-hoo. Hey, man. Well, Thank you. There. Coach Zahabi calling you from TriStar Gym. Congratulations. Uh, you got yourself a world title fight. 
You need to train like you've never trained before. Everything you did before was easy. This is going to be the hardest challenge of your life. That guy would rather die than give you his belt. So be sure you're willing to do anything it takes to win. The title fight. Getting the shot. There's George St. Pierre. Title, it's, There's Brown. It's a big deal. You know, Silva. Faber. You can't just think about holding the belt. You gotta visualize it so strongly. It's like you've already touched it before. You can't become a world champion and hit the easy button and skip all these steps. You gotta put the time, the effort, the hard work in. That number one spot, having that belt, is what everybody's fighting for. I'm gonna go out there and show the world and show myself that I was that much better than this guy. It's important to believe more in yourself than the people around you believe in you. So you've got a bunch of hungry guys that are all trying to get to this this one spot. The opportunity of fighting for that is is kind of euphoric. Whew. All right. I am not going to be crazy in this fight. I am going to be calm, reserved, and methodical. A black belt that only covers two inches of your ass. You have to cover the rest. <laughs> Royce Gracie! That guy was great. You can customize up to three game plans with different abilities for your fighter and career mode. Yeah, fuck that. The Freak, set to enter the octagon and take out the champion and lead with the UFC. Welterweight belt around his waist. All day, every day. Look at that sexy bastard as he walks in there. Enters the octagon, looking to become the new UFC champion. George Rush St. Pierre, making his way to the octagon, looking to defend his belt. George St. Pierre is one of the top athletes in the sport. Great speed, great strength, and extremely talented. He's got world-class skills on his feet or on the ground, and he has dominated so many guys with his wrestling. Sorry, George, but that is my belt. Man, I got old in this game. Shit! Shit! Six inch. Bruce, why didn't you tell me? Mario Yamasaki. It's time! Oh, man. It's a good thing I don't actually have to keep track of my weight in this game. That would be a bitch.
This man is a mixed martial artist with a professional record of 33 wins, four losses. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. George St. Pierre. George Rush St. Pierre. Presenting the reigning. Defending undisputed heavy or a welterweight champion of the world. All right. Oh, God. Here we go, guys. Here we go. Here we go. Title fight. Five. Five minute rounds. Hit him with that overhand. Shit. Early in the fight, they clinch. Oh, huge knee. And he connects with the knee. Another nice knee. Vicious knees. Oh, right into the midsection. Nice body kick. Come on. Oh, my goodness. And he lands the left. He's able to get into the full guard here. He checks the kick. Man, he loves that one too. Nice stunning side kick to the body. That's a challenging hook. Come on. He avoids the clinch. in the Muay Thai clinch. The freak gets caught with that left. Yeah. Trying to go to the body. Ooh. And there's a takedown attempt. Oh! The freaks blocked that strike. Jab on the count. They are exchanging here, Mike. He was stuck. Scramble, scramble, scramble. Go down hard and down. The freak gets back up again. And there's the leg kick. Another nice leg kick by the freak. He avoided damage blocking the big kick. He connects with the straight. He gets the Muay Thai clinch. He got caught, Mike. Oh, shit. Circling towards the left now. He's able to avoid the clinch. Joe, that's a solid kick to the body by St. Pierre. He clipped him with that one. That's a big right hand. With that right hand. Scores with the kick. Oh man, they are winging at each other. Joe, big Superman punch. Oh, and he slams him down. Slam. George St. Pierre is very active on his. Looks like he's trying to set up the submission here. He got Shit. I, my thumb slipped. Jab. 
He punished him with that hook. Good sprawl. Good sprawl here. Solid body shot from the top. And he's back up again. Wow, what a back and forth exchange. 30 seconds. Flying knee. What a jab. Oh shit, he is really hurt. Go for it. No, don't go for it. He's back up. He connects with the Superman. Club. What a brawl. These guys are going off. Big Superman punch. Wow. Go, get him. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I am the welterweight champion of the world. <laughs> we recap the fight on our fight replay. And as we can see, Dude, he went full sh Look at that. Oh, he stiffened up like a board. Oh my god, I did it. Great angle here. Oh, look at him. I love it. Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Mario Gamasaki has called a stop to this contest at 4 minutes 55 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by knockout and, and new heavyweight champ. God, why do I keep saying heavyweight? Welterweight champion of the world is the new UFC welterweight champion. Thanks, Mr. Yamasaki. George, you ain't gonna congratulate me for knocking the fuck out of you? It'd be nice if you came over, dude. You knocked the fuck out of me. You're not? Whatever. Yeah, get in here, guys. Look at that belt. Oh, yeah, look at that belt. Let's look at the stats. I'm curious. Now, we saw all these before, so. Ooh, feels good. Feels real good. Fight statistics. Okay, so 126. I was 69%. I like that. Two of six takedown. Now, he stuffed me a lot on those takedowns. Uh, one submission attempt, which failed because I my thumb slipped. That's all right, though. So, all right. We did it. We are now... How's my career damage? So, I'm about halfway. So, we're halfway through with this Let's Play series. Actually, not even halfway through, almost. That oh, if you look down in the top or the bottom left corner there, it says longevity. And whenever that total career damage is like to the full max, I have to quit. So, nope, can't quit. We have to be champions. So, thank you everybody so much for watching. This was an amazing journey, and we are going to continue, continue to be the welterweight champion. <laughs> so. Thank you so much for watching. If you wouldn't mind, hit that subscribe button down there. Head over to our store, see if anything there tickles your fancy. If you feel like donating to this channel, we have fan funding as well as the Patreon campaign. Catch you all in the next video. So until next time, Godspeed to 100,000 subscribers. Where's Dylan? Oh, he seems to be crawling away from the goal. What is he doing? He's throwing away the best! <laughs>